The four terrorists were eliminated in an encounter with the Indian security forces at Pulwama in Jammu and Kashmir. The terrorists belong to the jaish e mohammed group and sources tell Vion World is One that amongst the terrorists killed were two former police personnel who recently had joined the jaish e mohammed The weapons such as the AK-47 and machine guns were recovered from them. The encounter had begun on Thursday evening and the operation is now over. Two special police officers are among the four militants killed in an encounter with security forces in South Kashmir's Pulwama district. Now, yesterday's uh, two special police officers went missing from the district police lines in Pulwama, and later there were reports that they had joined Jesh e Bahamad. And soon after that, there was an encounter between security forces and the militants at a village in Pulwama district, in which two of them were killed among the four other militants. Now, all of the four are believed to be from the Jesh e Bahamad outfit and have been killed in this particular encounter. Now, the police says that they have recovered arms and ammunition from the spot and the search are still underway uh, to see that if there are any more ammunition lying around that particular place. Remember, there have been 105 militants killed so far this year in the last months from January to this year and the high, there have been a high activity around anti-militancy operations in the Kashmir Valley after the Pulwama attack. Uh, now, one has to remember that, uh, you know, there have been main operations and main operatives of jesh e Mohammed have been killed. Now, these four are said also to be from the jesh e Mohammed. With campus and Feroz Ishalwani, for Vyond World is one. So the jaish e mohammed is in fact the same terror group that claimed responsibility of the 14th of February Pulwama attack. The attack had killed 40 Indian paramilitary personnel. All right, let's now get you the latest in terms of what's happening in the search operations for the missing AN-32 aircraft. The search operation has entered into its fifth day. The Indian Navy's long-range maritime reconnaissance aircraft, the P-8I, has also joined the search operation. The aircraft is fitted with special radars and sensors and this is presently what w is happening in this search operation that has been going on for about five days now. The weather in Arunachal Pradesh this morning was not clear and this has kept the helicopters from resuming the search operations. Two Cheetah helicopters are expected to join the search party as soon as the weather clears up. AC-130J aircraft carried out overnight sorties. The Indian Air Force has already conducted over 100 hours of search operations. The search has also intensified and expanded. The advanced fighter planes such as the C-130, the Army's helicopters, satellites, the Indian Navy's P-8I and drones have all been roped in. The scanning the ground are police and administrative agencies as well with the help of the locals. But there is still no trace of the Indian Air Force plane. The plane, remember, had gone missing on Monday. The AN-32 had taken off from Jorhat in Assam at roughly about 12.27 p.m. It was bound for Mechuka's advanced landing ground along the border with China in Arunachal Pradesh. Now, the plane's last contact with ground control was roughly at about 1.7 p.m. on Monday. It had 13 people on board, with eight being the staff members and five others being crew who were travelling along.